Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. In this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to make a two-tier watercolour painted cake. I've got a five inch cake board stuck to a larger board just to make it easier for me to decorate the cake. Filling it in with some buttercream frosting. I'll have the recipe in the description box below. Stacking on my cake layers and now I'm creating the crumb coat. So it's a thin layer of frosting that goes on the outside of the cake to trap in crumbs. I've taken my bench scraper and I'm going around the cake to smooth it down and then cleaning up the top with my spatula just pulling that extra lip to the middle of the cake. I like to rest my cakes in the freezer for about 10 minutes before I put on the last layer of frosting. So I've done the exact same steps here for the bottom tier which is a 7 inch cake. Apply a lot a lot of buttercream onto the sides of your cake. Go around your bench scraper slowly to smooth it down and then clean up the top again. Do the same to your bottoms here, and then I've rested those in the fridge for half an hour. I have some Bakehouse fondant here, and I've rolled it out to 3mm in thickness. Drape it over your cake, and then using a fondant smoother, press out to the sides any air that's trapped underneath. Then secure the top edge, and then to adhere your fondant onto your cake, just undo those pleats by pulling them apart, and um, massage the fondant onto your cake in a downward motion to make sure you don't trap in any air. Take your fondant smoother, go around the cake, and then cut off the excess at the bottom. To create the sharp edges, I'm clapping two fondant smoothers together in circular motions as well, kind of pinching the fondant a little bit. Then if you see any air pockets, pop them with a very thin pin. You might use an acupuncture needle if you can, that's actually um, really, really good, doesn't leave any holes at all pretty much. And then to support the weight of the top cake, I've put five straw dowels into the bottom tier. Placing my top tier on top of the bottom, just like so. And now for the fun bit, the watercolour decorating. As you can see in the background there, I have some plates with each colour of the rainbow except for navy slash um, indigo. And I've diluted it with a little bit of alcohol. If you can't use alcohol, you could also use a lemon juice, or some people even like to use vinegar. And I'm just dabbing in no particular um, way here. It's either circular motions or just dabbing directly onto the cake. But I'm making sure to keep each color separate and then creating those little marks at the top, um, just random little dabs to help blend the colors in together. And then once I've finished applying each colour, I like to go back and kind of dab where the seam is, where one colour transitions into another. And just go over it until it kind of all blends in together. Do the exact same with the very next layer. So I've um, used half of the green and half of the yellow to try to blend it into each cake. As you can see here, going into the yellow with the green and vice versa. And just continue this process. And we use alcohol because water doesn't evaporate as well and it causes um, a lot more running um, of colours so it'll dry a lot faster. Here I have some gold lace by Kate Craft and I've sprayed my silicon mold with a little bit of vegetable oil. I removed the excess oil and then I've gone in and I'm just using a little spatula to scrape that off and to also um, apply it into the little hole sections. After about six hours, I like to leave mine overnight, you can start peeling it out of your mold. Just gently taunt the mold back and press the lace out. Cut it in half and apply it onto your cake. It's still a bit moist from the watercolour so I didn't have to add any water to stick this on. So I've just lined it up next to the other lace and then making sure it's all straight at the bottom and adhering it at the top afterwards. Do the same for your top tier. And then I've gone in and I've done the exact same at the very top as well, making sure that everything is aligning. To make 
a painted watercolour cake decorated with edible gold lace. To create this particular effect it doesn't take very much skill at all. You don't need to have any previous experience in painting. It's actually very, very easy to do. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. If you do give it a shot, uh, do tag me in your photos. I would love to see what you guys come up with. And that's it. I'll catch you guys again on Tuesday. And if you like the little cake toppers, I do sell these on my website, rosiesdessertspot.com.